No, no, not yet. Hello, Hello. guys. Hi, guys. Sorry. Hi, hi, hi teacher. teacher. Oh, can you hear me? How are you? Everything's good. What about you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm sorry for, well, I think I haven't told you this before, um, but I, I try to, to join the, the, the sessions early. But, you know, I'm having uh, another, yeah, I deliver another class from, from seven o'clock to nine o'clock. So that's why I join in some cases a little bit late, you know, some minutes later, like 9.02, 9.03. But I, I try to do my, my best and, and, and try to be on time. I'm sorry, thank you for your patience and thank you for being early. I appreciate. How are you guys? Tell me. You're welcome. How are you? <laughs> thank you. How are you guys? Oh. How's everything? I'm okay. I a little I uh a little tired because I went to the gym. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I did aerobics. Oh, do you like? Do you like? And I dance. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, well, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's hard, right? It's hard to to do exercises, to do aerobics. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. What about the rest? How are you guys? Everything good, Chris? Yeah. Today is a good teacher. Excellent. An excellent day. Perfect. What about the rest? Thank you, Luis. Luis, Aurelia, Jose, how was your day? I am fine. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Aurelia, yes, sir. Very good, teacher. Yeah, appreciate it. Everything's good, teacher. Thank you. Well, we're going to begin. We're going to begin. I want to know, as I ask, as I ask you in every single session, I want to know if it's everything good with the platform. Have you had any problems? Teacher, in the platform, I have a problem with the first exercise. Because I write uh, the response is the books, but it's not correct. Hmm. What is the section? Sorry. In the first section, oh, the, the first, first exercise. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Let me. Let me check. Let me check. For a second. I'm looking for. Uh, exercise. Somebody else, sorry. Uh, have you had any problems with that one? No, for me today I finished. Oh, nice. Yes. With everything? Yes. Oh, nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, what about the rest? Okay. Please. Me too. I finished. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Do you know? Yeah. Congratulations. Do you know? Oh, it, it's okay. Yeah. You, you told me you told me early. And that yeah. is nice because you have completed everything quickly. Very nice. Thank you. What about the rest, please? Okay. Congratulations, by the way. So, Okay. Is this exercise okay? Yes, teacher. Number one, it's only it's only the, I have a problem. Okay, instruction said the instructions say look at the following pictures, then complete the request. These words. Hmm. Pick up. Pick up, please. You have to use this pitch, right? Pick up. Yes, in hmm. the first, it, it maybe says it's the books, but it's not correct. Was that your answer? 
So you answer, pick up books. The books, sorry. This one. Is this your answer, Gabriela? Pick up your boots. Boots. Yes, teacher. Okay. We're going to see the answers. Well, in this case, is pick up your toys. Pick up the toys. Okay. That is but the answer. But the toys in other in other number, it's correct. Hmm. Well, it depends. It depends because we can have in some cases different answers. Different answers. As you can see, number four, you can have books, toys, or your jacket. It depends on the on the you know the, the statement or the sentence. In this case is pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Only that, Gabriela, sorry. Yes, teacher, it's only that I finished the platform. Oh, you too? Awesome. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you so much. Teacher. Okay. Yes, tell me, tell me. In, I have a problem in the midterm part B, hmm, number okay. three. Very good. Okay, let's go. Meter. In the section C, okay. Meter, you tell me what? In what part? meter, part B, in the number three. Number three. We write a different forms in all ways is bad. Okay, let me check. It says, don't see there, you mind. Oh, okay, what was your answer? Do you remember your answer? Yes. Uh, my answer is, would you mind not uh, to sit there? And uh, when I write uh, uh, in different forms, in all ways, it's bad. Okay, let's see the answer. The answer is, you mind not sitting there. Not sitting there. Sorry. Because remember that when we use, would you mind, we have to use the verb in ing form. Okay. Would you mind sitting there? Or in this case, because it's negative, would you mind not sitting there? Okay. The answer is, do you mind not sitting not there? To sitting. Not sitting there, yes. Right. The, okay. the answer here. Do you mind not to sit in there? Not, yes. Sitting. Okay. That was the answer. Very good. Somebody but, else? No. Tell, but tell. See, uh, again, it's bad. Brilliant. You might not to sit in there. <laughs> and oh, well, one, 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 one question. Do you, do you write sitting like this with double P? Uh, the number three. Yes, number three. Do you write sitting with double T? Yes, but you might not. Uh, sorry. Because so that is one aspect. You have to, to be careful with, you know, the way you write the words. You might not. Because sitting, sitting is with double T. Yes, yeah. yeah, sitting is. Get a question mark. Probably the question mark two. too. Yeah, exactly. You have to use the question mark too at the end. But in this case, uh, don't have a question mark. Okay, so you have to include it. You have to include it because it's a question. It's a question. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. think that is the case, problem. Right? It's correct. Exactly. Yeah. Be careful. Like I said. Like I said uh, yesterday. I think you have to use all the punctuation marks. You have to begin with capital letter, then you have to write a whole question. Not, for example, okay, play in here, for example. 
And at the end, question mark, because it's a question. Be careful, be careful. You have to include all those aspects, quotation marks, etc. Yeah. Well, uh, only that, Luis? Only, only with that, that one? Excellent. Somebody else? Has someone had any problems with the platform, et cetera? Everything good? Everything working well? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, welcome, Godofredo. How are you doing in the meeting? Hi, Godofredo. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you, Godofredo? Good um, platform. Do you, do you have a problem with the platform? Uh, not too sure. No. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Remember, this is in general. If you're having some troubles with the platform, with a specific section, or let's say a specific exercise, let me know. Let me know that you can contact me via WhatsApp. Send me a screenshot if possible and specify what section are you having problems with. Okay. Right now, some of you have finished. Congratulations. You have done a great job. Keep going. And well, you have to, to wait and continue practicing. Of course, we're going to do it here. Right now, we're going to continue and we're going to go to the session. This is session number 11. Okay, so we are in the fourth session. The fourth session. Okay, the topic for today is we're gonna have time contracts. We're going to continue with time contracts. Because we have to clarify some doubts, we have to continue with some other activities. Time contracts. And okay, today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. Over now. Let's begin. Well, yesterday we were saying that we have time contracts. What does it mean? That we use the tenses, the different tenses that we have, present, past, and future tenses. And we can have a combination of any in there, right? We're talking about past, past tense. We can have the simple past, past continuous, past perfect, etc. Yeah. Even we can have some other forms like used to. We, we can also have could, because remember that could is past form, etc. Present, we can have, you know, um, simple present, genius, present perfect, etc. Okay. The future, we can have simple future with will or be going to. The perfect better. We can use in this case some models. We can use my or we can use main. Okay. Well, the future tense. Okay. And we were saying that when we have time contrast, because we describe how our lives, how you know time or times have changed during the years. Etc. And we can use different tenses. We can use different tenses. Like I said before, we can use uh, simple past, past continuous, simple present, present perfect. We can use will, do, I, may, etc. I was giving you these examples in the previous class. And we have that transition, like I said before, we have a transition. When we're saying how our lives have changed. Okay. What are some um, some expressions that we use for past? Can you tell me. What are some time expressions that we can use for past? Do you remember? Time expressions. That is something important in the tenses. I'm expressing. In the past. In the past, yes. In present, nowadays. 
in the future. Okay, so first you say nowadays, right? Nowadays, nowadays. Right. Okay, for past, can you give me a, a, a time expression for past? Uh, in the last year. Yeah, last year, last year, exactly. What about for future? Let's try to make a question for future. Mm. Yep. Let's try to make a question for future, guys. Future tenses. Some expressions. Next year, next month. Next year, next month. Um, exactly. Those are. In the. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In the near future, future. In the near future, yes. Fabiana. Uh, since. Since, mm, could be, could be, since. Other one? Next. Next, next. It could be next Saturday, next week, next yes. September. Teacher, what, what do you say, decada? Decades. Decade. Decade. Okay, in the, in the, other decade. Okay, yeah. In another decade, exactly. Another decade. Decade. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Well, we were providing some examples in the previous class, and we were having different events because we had different events and topics that we can discuss about that. Want to make or want to have the transition? For example, we were focusing on a specific events. If we talk about uh, fashion, fashion or clothes, we have uh, the first example. The past tense, present, and future. Past tense, we can say in the past, I used to wear tennis, shoes, and shorts. Present, nowadays, I wear casual clothes. In the future, so one can say, in the future, I am going to wear for my club. That is the transition that we have. That's how our lives have changed. In this case, we're focusing on that event or topic, which is fashion. fashion. Of course, we can have different events, different topics. I think an example was, a few years ago, I was living in USA. In that case, we're talking about the way we live, or places we live, okay? A few years ago, I was living in the USA. In these days, I am living in Mexico. And in 10 more years, I will live in Europe. So what can happen in this case? Countries, uh, Next, we're referring to you know, having something or your belongings could be. We make contrast. You can say, 10 years ago, I didn't have a car. In the present, now, I have a new car. Soon, soon, I might buy a Ferrari. That is a twenty. We make contrast. This is called time contrast, okay? Another example, we were talking about, let's say, a t-shirt, for example, t-shirt. T-shirt that it is delivering classes, high school, then in high school and secondary, and then we have a specific, you know, let's say, institution, or it could be a university, etc. So the examples are, in the 2002, I started working in the high school. Next, today, I am working in the high school in the secondary. 
And in five more years, I will work in the logical company. Right? That is a transition. That is a contrast that we make. Okay? And I was sharing with you common time expressions that we use. As, as, as you said before, we have different expressions for class, like a few years ago. We can have a lot of combinations with that word, which is a goal. A goal. We can say five days ago, 10 minutes ago, um, six months ago, 10 years ago, a few years ago, can make different combinations. Next, as in the past, in the 19th century, in the 20th century, the 15th century, then we have, well, we can mention this case decades, decades, the 1960s, the 1950s, the 1920s, different decades. That is for past, of course, we have more. Last Saturday, last week, last December, last Christmas, even those specific expressions, those are for past. In the present, we have some others. These days, today, nowadays, each year, in the present time, in the morning, the afternoon, night, the evening, on day, Saturday, on weekends, that are start for present. For future, some others. You can say so in 20 years, in 50 years, in 80 years, in the future, or as someone said, in the near future, in the near future, in the next 100 years, in the next 50 years, in a year, in a month, in a day, in two days, better. That is where we use time expressions. We have time expressions, okay? And that determines, so determine what things we are using. Okay, that those are keywords. Those are keywords, in other words. Keywords. Those are keywords because they determine the things that we are using. We are using, right? Well, here we have oh, any questions, sorry, by the way. No questions. Okay. Everything here? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is good. You did? Sorry? It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Teacher. Teacher. Thanks. Okay. Everything good, teacher. Okay. Well, now let's look at this. We have here some events, some events or different things, things. Okay. For example, when we're referring to events, you can say entertainment. Can say uh, transportation, communication, education. You can have technology, technology, sorry, technology, etc. We have different events, different topics. Okay, and we can dis we can discuss about this. I am. For example, I'm sorry, repeat again, sorry. Environment. Could be environment, yes. 
environment. That, you know, we have a variety of topics. Topics. Here we have three. Here we have three, and they are relevant. Entertainment, transportation, and communications. That is the way we link the tenses with contracts. And we can say uh, an event that happened in the past, something that is happening at the moment or in the present time, and another thing or another action or event that is, that will, that is going to happen soon in the next year. For example, if we talk about entertainment, we can give different examples. We have here some keywords, entertainment in the past, we have radio and movies, radio and movies, okay? For example, we can say, in the past, people listened to the news in the radio. In the present, we have computer games, high definition TV, and 3D movies. Because we're talking about, let's say, uh, entertainment, we're talking about news, we can say, these days, people have HD. Definition it is. Okay. We're talking about entertainment or this is specific devices, okay? Radio, TVs, HD definition TVs, and then we can have the feature. We can say that. Uh, Thought control video games and virtual reality movies. For example, in the future, people want ten, let's say, movie theaters because they will have virtual reality movies. So it will it will be in, in, uh, necessary to go to the movie theaters. Okay. So I think that is happening because now we have Netflix and I think people don't attend movie theaters, cinemas, etc. That is the way we contrast, we contrast you know, the different topics or events that we have. What about transportation? Well, we have transportation, transportation. And we can say, well, I need a volunteer to help me with second. What about transportation? But for transportation, let me give you some ideas. Uh, railroads, motion liners, uh, hybrid cars, high speed trains, big craft. And in the future, we'll have self driven, as we said, the previous class, self driven cars, GPS, shoot, and time machine. And it's all about transportation. Volunteer? Transportation. Who wants to try? Also try. Teacher, okay. maybe, but, but help me, please. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. In the past, the the car only 
eh, de gas. Mm, and, okay. and the present, the car is electric. Yeah. Was, okay. Mm, let me see. Was, only, only gas, no. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it could be, it could be. But probably you can say, move, move with gas. Exactly, it could be move. Mm, okay. By using gas. By using gas. Yes. Now you say sorry. Now I think now. Now with uh, electric, electric, electric. We use yes, uh, electric cars. Yeah, cars. In the future, I don't know. Tell me, please. <laughs> <laughs> the flying car. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, we use flying cars. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Okay. And what about communications? Communications. Uh, in past, we have telephone and the postal system. Probably we have letters too. Letters. In the present, we have text messaging. Video, video phones, all right, and social networking. In the future, we have probably cell phone implants, uh, a sensory internet, and 3D social networking. Who wants to try the next event? Over here. Communications, what do you think? Users. Okay, I will listen to Sorry, please help us with communication. Yeah, sir. Teacher. Yeah, please, please. In the past, people uh, send a uh, postal car. Okay, send postal cards. Yes. Postal car. Exactly. Let's say nowadays, well, let's say um, these days. Know? Mm, okay, this day people use a, a cell phone. Yeah, cell phone to communicate with okay. others. In next years, because we have to change, remember, we have to change the expressions. Let's say in 20 years, 20 years. Tell me. Uh, in 10 years, uh, uh, people will communicate with your mind. Okay, yeah. To communicate by, say, reading minds. Reading minds, <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> Okay, nice. Very good. I like it. Could be, could be. Like I said, well, yesterday I remember that someone said that idea. And absolutely, that could happen. That could happen. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, any questions about this? Time contrast? It's a time contrast. Time contrast. Questions? No questions. Okay. Okay, we're going to move on to the following part. And now it is case, what I want to do 
Now it's your turn. You're going to practice. You're going to work on your own. And I need to look at the following events that I'm going to show you. All we have to do is to look at those events and you have to select, listen, you have to select two events, two events, okay? And what are those events? Education, entertainment, technology, technology, transportation, communication, and function. Okay, please choose two events and I need to contrast those topics, right? For example, you can do it, you know, on your own, I mean, personally, personally, right? So it depends. For example, I will select, let me see, Technology, okay? I will use technology. That is my first first topic. Technology. I will say many years ago, many years ago, um, people didn't have televisions. The present now individuals have computers, smart TVs, um, let's say smartphones, etc. In the future, so another one I would say, um, in 50 years, we will have 3D technology. Okay. This is the first one. What you have to do is to select two topics and you have to contest. Okay? Follow this example, follow the example, and I need to write in your notebooks, select two topics of different ones, and you have to write your own ideas. Okay? I will give you some time and then I will listen to you. Let's go. Okay. Questions? In, in, your, in your examples, what means individuals? In, in this oh, sentence. that is that is another way to say people you know we, we uh, have to yeah. to look for different ways to say things because if you say people 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 you know you have to vary vary okay, even you can okay. say we because you include in that group okay yes so we, we need to choose two two topics two topics yes okay and you, and you have to write your own examples you have to make a transition Let's go. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know, please.
questions? Anything good? Let me know once you're ready, please. Take your time, take your time. Do you have any questions? Is everything all right? I have only one topic. Okay. 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 Tell us. Tell us the topic that you or event that you selected and let us know you know the contrast that you made. Let's go. Okay. In the past, women used to wear bell button jeans. Okay. Now women use skinny jeans. No? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Just one thing. Uh, okay. In you, the... you make, I'm sorry, you make a pause. You make a pause. 
Just remember that when we're talking about clothes, ah, or okay. it's, we use the verb wear. Wear. Wear, wear yes. Use. So the case women wear, now we, women wear in a gym, yes. Okay. In the future, bell button jeans will make a comeback. Mm, okay. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Yeah, because we're, we're mixing all the, you know, all the, as it is, uh, all the trends, mixing all the trends. Uh, some people are wearing you know, clothes from, the 80s, some people wear clothes from the 90s, some people wear clothes for the 70s. Absolutely. Why not? Why not? Okay. Yeah. Only with that one, do you remember? You have to use wear because that is the word that we use. When we are talking about clothes. I, I'm wearing green on the shirt. Yeah. That is the way. Okay. Why that? Okay. And repeat it for me, women used to wear. Women used to wear. Women used to wear, okay. That, that, that was for the first one, yeah. You say women used to wear. Women okay. used to wear this. Teacher, I, I have yes. another topic. Sure, tell me. Okay, for transportation. Okay. In the medieval times, people were transported on a horseback. Yeah. Uh, currently, people are transported in a car. In a hundred years, we will transport in a teleportation machine. Oh, okay. Nice. Very good. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, you say people were transported, right? People were transporting. Yes. In a horseback. A horseback. Okay. Perfect. The other one was. Uh, I was in the present, right? People yes. are transporting in cars, right? Cars in cars. In cars. Okay. In cars. in cars. Well, in that case, you know, because yeah, but it's okay. Cars. Most of the times when we use transportation, we Say people go by cars. We use that specific form by cars. Cool. Well, it's okay when you say people are transporting cars. Yes, it's okay. Very good, Chris. I appreciate. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you too. Somebody else. People. Uh teacher <laughs> i'm ready but only one topic now uh the first one in the past uh, in the uh, many years ago people didn't know read and write oh well, the majority yeah today the majority of people know read and write it's correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Today, the majority of people, not just the majority. Yeah. Or uh, people. Or people, know, yeah. Read and write. Yes. And in the future, each person will read and write books. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Only with the second one, when you say in the present, you, the example was. They people know they know the majority they, of people know. Yeah. Read and oh. write. Okay, very good. In that case, you have to include only one thing. Say so today, the majority of people, you, you can say just the majority, but it's okay. Majority of people. Most people know, listen, how, how to read and write. Mm, okay. Yeah. 
with that. Then the, the last one, when you were talking about the future tense, that is correct. Absolutely. Very good. Uh, just in order to, to, to clarify with this example, when we are referring to transportation, we can say, example, I go by car to my job. We tend to make these combinations. We tend to use this verb in by. I go by car. I just in order to clarify. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you, Luis. Appreciate. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. Uh, well? uh, fashion in the 90s. In the 90s decade, people used to hair very frizzy. Now fashion is changed and people using a straight hair. But in the future, their fashion, the fashion is will be paint hair. Mm, okay. Okay, I got you. With the last one, you can say in the future, or what, what is the term, term expression that you use, sorry? Fashion. No, what is the, the term expression that you're using for future? But in the future, the oh. fashion is... Perfect. In the future, fashion... In the change. future, fashion it will change. Of paint hair. Oh, okay. You can say because women, I don't know, it could be men probably, because yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <Both. laughs> fashion which is because yeah, women and men uh, will use or, or have, I don't know, have, you say dye, dye hair. Right here. Okay. Yes. Right here. Yes. That is that that is a, a, a proper word that you use when you're referring to a someone died his or her because we don't know uh well now men and women die you know they they hurt hurt. That is well very good. Only that. The rest is fine. Thank you. Appreciate it, whatever. Okay, uh, do I have somebody else? Who we're missing a sweat and go with it. I have one with transportation. Tell me. In the past, people don't have cars. Nowadays, we have cars and airplanes. In 30 years, we're going to have our own custom that can fly and move from place to another place. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Just put the first one. Be careful because you seem fast. You say people don't have. People did it. Okay. Okay. People did it. Yeah. Yes. And the other one, the second you say people have, right? People have. In the present, okay. you use have, right? People have. Nowadays, we have cars and airplanes. Absolutely, that is correct. Only the first one, be careful, because you have to use pass. People okay, did thanks. pass. Cool. Thank you, too. Well, let's see if uh, Fredo is ready. Uh, technology teacher. I'm sorry? Technology. Okay, help, help. In the past, people use it Type writer today, people use computer in 10 years, and both will be digital. Oh, okay, yeah. In the last one, please. Come on, you'll be the last one, the, the one that you said with the future part in, in 10 years, our book will be digital, yeah. Books will be digital 
Yes. Yeah. They they are starting by the way, right? Because we are looking at find digital books. Digital books. So I think as yeah, as you said, that is a an accurate prediction for this that we have said. Because yeah, in five well, in ten years, ten years, all the books will be digital. I think so. That's a good prediction. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate. Well, uh, any questions, guys, about time contracts? Time contracts? I don't have a question. I understand the topic, but it's difficult for me to write my ideas. And when I try to think in the past, in the present, the future, I forget the, the correct grammar. Um, and, but it's difficult to express my, my ideas because my mind translate all the time. I don't know how how uh, take out or quitarme. I don't remember. Yeah, you can say like um, don't use, bro. don't use. Yeah, stop. Uh, stop using. Stop using. Stop using. Uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I yeah. tried. Yeah. And, and when I when I don't think in, 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 don't translate, I speak quickly and I make many mistakes and, yeah. and I don't like it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, I know. And that, that happened to me, that happened to me. But what you have to do is, you know, try to, to be accustomed to the language. What does it mean? So you have to think, I know that it is difficult, this stuff, but you can start thinking in English and, and transmit, express your ideas in, in English. But so that's what you have to do. Try, I know that it is hard, but try to think in English, don't think in Spanish, and transmit, express the ideas in English. In English, okay? You can do that exercise. You can do different exercises that can help you, you know, to comprehend and to use English all the time. You think in English, you don't translate your the words in, in your mind. You think in English and you speak in English. Okay? Try to work on that. That do that exercise. Think in English. Think of a word and try to, to express different ideas. Or, you know, imagine a topic that could be a good exercise. Imagine a topic, you're going to start thinking in English and express those ideas. That could be helpful. Okay. okay, teacher, thanks. I need to practice more, but I tried. I, tried. I will try. Of course. Well, listen, what I wanted to do. And I think that that will be a practice for you. Take into account these topics, okay? Use these topics. And now, this is a, an extra practice for you. Try to write more ideas, okay? With the topics. Use all the tenses, past, present, future. Take into account these topics, okay? You can do it in your notebooks. Try more ideas and you can practice with all the tenses and the topics too. Okay? With and contracts. Right? Okay. Any questions, guys? Teacher, can I speak Spanish? Okay, tell me, tell me. Eh, quería saber si usted me puede recomendar porque a mí me cuesta formar las oraciones y como ya terminé lo de la plataforma me gustaría repasar un poco también. Si mm. tiene algún sitio o algo, algo que me pueda ayudar para estar practicando también sure, y así sure. de, de, pues lo agarre mejor el sure. well, what we can do what we can do if you want you can contact me please yeah let's do it and I can recommend you some 
website. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah, contact me and I will help you. I'm, I'm going to provide you some website. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, any questions? Everything good? No, teacher. No Thank questions. You. Everything good. It's good. Perfect. Well, we're, we're going to stop right here. Fine. Thank you, everybody, for, for the time. I know that it is 40. I appreciate it. Thank you for your patience, please. Well, uh, this is all for today. Remember, if you have any issues with the platform, just let me know. Uh, contact me and send me screenshots if possible. And I will ask in case we cannot sell the product. Okay. Well, everybody, this is all for today. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good night. Stay safe. And God bless you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you Good tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow. Good bye. Bye.